Hi everybody. We thought we'd show you a clip of uh, slow motion filmed water hitting a uh, Van der Black surface because in bright light it looks so amazing but there's a serious point to the video in that we're trying to demonstrate that a super black coating can tolerate contact with water quite easily. So we shot this in slow motion um, in bright sunlight so you can see on some parts of the picture there's a, a little bit of glare because the camera can't adjust between the difference of the reflection coming from the foil and the super black surface the water is bouncing onto. And if you look very carefully when there's large amounts of water you can see the underlying structure of the van der Black and the aluminium foil. See now you can see the structure quite easily and you can see the grain of the foil that runs across from top to bottom. And here we've zoomed out a little bit so you can see it slightly better without so much sunlight glaring on it. I think water in slow motion bouncing off this surface just looks so spectacular and in a minute you'll see we run the thing backwards and then it just looks amazing. And again you can see the underlying structure where the water is impacting and flattening out. Now this is the part where we thought we'd have some fun and run it backwards. It just looks so amazing. The serious point behind this clip though is really to demonstrate just how hydrophobic and resistant to water uh, impact Van der Black is. If you see this, and uh, we might create a video about this on uh, other absorbers, if you see water hitting other absorber surfaces it impacts it straight away and they instantly lose their optical properties. And this is important because when um, you use this coating in space applications the satellite might be built and then it may stay on the ground for a number of years before it's launched and if the, the black absorber coating is attached by moisture then it's severely degraded. So this really goes to show just how resistant it is and stable it is in the atmosphere. And you can see here quite easily the underlying structure and the grain running from top to bottom across the two flats as the water impacts it and spreads out. I can't quite work out if it looks better running backwards or running forwards, but I think I'm leaning towards it uh, looking more spectacular running backwards, especially with the sunlight glinting off the water droplets. Let us know what you think though, because all the guys here in the science and research team, they love reading your comments during their lunch hours, and uh, some of them are really amazing, so please feel free to comment, let us know what you think, and if there's other videos you'd like to see, let us know too. Thank you for watching. 